What's up guys and welcome to the third tutorial of programming in Haskell and in this tutorial it's all about the first steps and the first ever script so without further ado let's start the tutorial so yeah GHCI like always if you don't know what that is go to the first tutorial I've explained everything so yeah let's get on with the calculator just some more complex calculations like we did in tutorial 2 whereas in this tutorial the calculations will get a bit more complex with a couple of if statements and if this is true this should happen so yeah if true then bc else de yep If false, then B C else D E. There you have it. Let X equal three in X plus one. There you have it. X equals three, therefore three plus one equals four. Let that call x equals three in x asterisk one plus x. Or shall I say, get rid of that. Should be x. And there you have it. Three times three is nine plus three is twelve. One plus. So if Two equals equals two, then three else four. There you go. One plus if two is the same as two, then it's three else it's four. the next one one plus if two not equal to two then three else four you get five if two equals slash equals then reverse else tail ABC and now I'm getting an error if I didn't put the two there missed the two oh there you go BC if two slash equals two, then reverse else tail. So it just gives me the tail, you see. Let's get on to tuples. So, a couple of brackets, 2, and then pi. What does that give us? Also, we need to remember that we need to set the code for setting that we did before is colon set plus t. And now if we do the same thing, there we get integer and double, you see. FST, make some space, FST, 2 pi 
just gives you the first one. One, two, pi, close up. Integer, integer, double. Yep. FST, FST, one, two, pi, close that, close that again. Getting an error for some reason because, hold on, FST, should have closed this one. There you go. Yep, I know what I did wrong. Had the brackets in the wrong order. And now the part everybody's been waiting for. I will now make a script in the terminal here. So two equals two pi equals three point one four one five nine name equals hello this all should be saved in the folder called Haskell and save this as a script this should be script 101 or anything you want There you go. And now I need to go back into the terminal, get out of this, print working directory, where am I? CD, desktop, Haskell, and now GHCI. And now set, remember to set plus T. And now load the script. That's it. Okay, so now 2 plus 2 gives you 4. Yes, it does. 2, 2, asterisk, times, length, name. Wow, on earth is it giving me that? Two times the length name. Let me just see what length name gives me. Gives me five. That should honestly work. Two times five gives me ten. That should have given me ten. Try with brackets, see what happens. I know what I need to do. What? I see more of an error. What am I doing? So what is pi? Yeah, that's what it gives me. Two. Yep. Two. There you go. giving me the same error that's useful isn't it all right two integer two pi let name is five five times pi Yep. Let's move on to the next script.
Okay, so get rid of this. Save this as script 102. Script 102. Concatenate that with the surname. Four name equals say Haskell or whatever. Hello. Name length equals length of the full name. Save that. Or oh, that's saved. Get out of that. What's in that folder? Yeah. Okay, GHCI. Load the script. There you go. Okay. Yep, that's right. Yes, it is. Yep. Yep, that's it. Maybe we can start moving on to the next script. Okay. Unknown equals one equals two only if you divide by zero. <laughs> two equals one, like I said, only if you divide by zero. Sleep equals sheep. Z get rid of that always comes up for some reason equals length save that get out of this Okay. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Stop that. Taking its time, isn't it? Maybe because I have a set. That's the reason. So GHCI set plus T. Load the script in. No, it's still taking its time. Get out of that. Load the script in. Yeah, Z equals two, because it just looks at the length and sleep. That's what it gives me. It just keeps incrementing, incrementing. 
get out of that. Stop it. And that's really it. I mean, we can go into more complex details. All right, we're going to our fourth script. The fourth script, so save this. Save that. Double X plus or equals X plus X should be lowercase x plus x quad rupal x equals save all of that set Now loading the script for there you go and now quadruple quadruple two or four there you go sixteen Let's put in a factorial, so in here, factorial product, factorial n equals the product 1 all the way till whatever your number is. Save that, go into here, reload that, reload the script in. Factorial 3 gives you 6. Product 1, 2, 4 gives you 24. Factorial 4 gives you... There you go. Okay, guys. That's it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching the third tutorial. Alright, bye for now.